This isn't a dream. This is hell. And you're here forever. Alice the Doll was made by a doll maker at the request of a young couple who had just lost their young five-year-old daughter, Alice. See, Alice was born with a deformity. She had two faces. The doctors didn't think she would live to see a year old, where she actually lived to be five, almost six years old. So the young couple was grief-stricken. They asked the doll maker to make the doll in the exact likeness of Alice. They loved Alice so much, she was their first-born child. They took Alice home. Uh, Alice still participated with the family. She sat at the table when they ate. She also would watch TV. Uh, they kept her on the shelf uh, so they could see her all the time. Uh, a few years later, they ended up having another kid. Uh, Alice kind of got pushed back on the shelf, uh, no pun intended. Um, so one day, things started happening around the house and you know little things like pictures getting knocked over or broken items uh, mugs getting knocked off of the table uh, things went missing um, the mother thought for sure that the doll was possessed by something other than alice so she took the doll and she was going to take it down to the basement and just store it in the box somewhere on the way down the stairs to the basement she set the alice doll down on the step because there was a picture that was crooked and as soon as she got the picture kind of straightened up she fell down the stairs she ended up breaking a leg she swore that Alice the doll had pushed or tripped her down the stairs making her break her leg it worried her so much that she ended up giving the doll to a local collector of haunted items um, this guy had several haunted items uh, in his possession and it was a good place for Alice to go while he had Alice, several things happened to him. Bad luck, uh, different items moving around, same kind of thing that was happening to Alice's parents. So one day he had his windows open upstairs and his dog jumped out of the window. He doesn't know why, but he blames it on Alice. The dog ended up breaking his back and having to be put down. Um, I ended up getting this doll from this other guy. I'm not gonna mention his name, but I've had Alice since May of 2020. Uh, I heard noises in my office. Things have moved around, uh, but that's nothing uncommon in my office. There's so many haunted items here that I don't know if it was Alice or not. I will say that the activity with another one of my dolls has picked up. Um, but that's a little backstory on Alice. And I, I do think that Alice is my favorite doll. And uh, that's why she's my co-host. Evil is a master of disguise. It can be anywhere and anyone. Welcome everybody to this episode of BT Haunts Productions. I am your host Jason and with me as always is my co-host Alice. Alice, say a little something to the viewers. Kill them all. Alrighty then. And uh, anything you want to say, Alice, before we head out? I can't wait to drink your blood. We're going to work on Alice a little bit. And uh, Alice, anything you want to say before we head out? then man that's some good beer right there Alice <laughs> man, what the hell is wrong with you always got to be doing stuff like always oh man Alice roll the footage all right I'll 
I'll roll the footage. Alice, um, what do you think about ghosts and spirits and demons, stuff like that? Sometimes the things you see in the shadows are more than just shadows. That's a good way to put it, yeah. Do you want to know a secret? Sure. There are many times where all I can think about is murdering someone. All right, well, uh... We'll talk about that in a minute. Why don't we uh, go ahead and watch this clip right now, and uh, we'll, uh, yeah. And uh, Alice, anything you want to say before we head out of here? Your soul is mine forever. See you next time. Welcome to this episode of BT Haunts Productions. I am your host, Jason, and with me, as usual, is my co-host, Alice, who is not with me at the moment. She's a little upset because of the announcement that I'm getting ready to make, which is... You think I'm a fool? No, not me. You can't do that to me. She's angry. I have powers. She does, she does. I have potions. Evil powers. Evil potions. I have my craft. Witty craft. You will die. 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 You're in trouble. Be trouble. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Make sure you tune in for our new series, Our Top 5 with Jason and Lee coming very... I will eat you alive. Yeah, we'll bring plenty of barbecue sauce is all I gotta say. Be sure to tune in to them coming very soon. See you next time. Alice, Alice say hello to the viewers. <laughs> all right. Alice, roll the film. All right, I'll do it. Anyway, um, Alice, any input on what we should film next? Death is your only escape. Die. Uh -huh. Well, thanks for the input. And, uh, Alice, anything you want to say before we get out of here? You have just begun hearing the sentence. You have just finished listening what to. What does that even mean? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> See you next time. Excellent.
Resi don't leave no residual. Ah.